Let's find the characteristic equations of these two matrices. Recall that the characteristic equation comes from the definition of eigenvalues and eigenvectors. I'll leave a link in the description to my lesson introducing those. But here's a quick recap of the definition and where the characteristic equation comes from. We know that for lambda to be an eigenvalue of a with the corresponding eigenvector x, that means a times x equals lambda times x. Then, subtracting ax from both sides, we get that lambda x minus ax equals zero. Then, by writing lambda as lambda i, we can factor out the x and write this as lambda i minus a times x equals zero. And if lambda is an eigenvalue, then there must be a non-trivial solution x to this equation, and there being a non-trivial solution to this equation is the same as the determinant of that coefficient matrix, lambda i minus a, being equal to zero. And so that's where we get the characteristic equation. So again, if lambda is an eigenvalue, there must be a non-zero vector x satisfying this equation, which is equivalent to the determinant of the coefficient matrix being equal to zero. Now, depending on the text you're reading, you may see a minus lambda i instead of the other way around, but it does not matter. And of course, in general, the determinant of lambda i minus a looks like this, with lambda minus minus a diagonal entry of a along the diagonal, and off the diagonal, we just have the negatives of the entries of a. After that quick recap, it's time to get into the examples. We know that to find the characteristic equation of this two by two matrix a, we need to find lambda i minus a. Now in this case, i is our two by two identity matrix, and so lambda i minus a looks like this. On the diagonal, it's just lambda minus those entries of a on the diagonal. And off the diagonal, we just have the negatives of the entries of a. We need to take the determinant of this matrix and set it equal to zero to find the characteristic equation. The determinant of lambda i minus a is straightforward since it's a two by two matrix. We have lambda minus two times lambda plus three minus negative one times negative four. We can then distribute Lambda minus two times lambda plus three is lambda squared plus lambda minus six. And negative, negative one times negative four is just negative four. So combining the negative six and negative four, we get that the determinant is lambda squared plus lambda minus 10. Hence, the characteristic equation is found by setting that equal to zero. This is called the characteristic polynomial, by the way. But the equation is lambda squared plus lambda minus 10 equals zero. For this next example, we do the same thing. We have this three by three matrix A, so our identity matrix is the three by three identity matrix. We consider lambda I minus A, which looks like this. On the diagonal, we have lambda minus the diagonal entries of A. And off the diagonal, we just have the negatives of those entries of A. Then we must find the determinant of this matrix and set it equal to zero. So the determinant of lambda I minus A, well, this is a three by three matrix. So to find the determinant, probably the easiest way is to use the diagonal trick. That means we're going to take the first two columns of this matrix and rewrite them to the right. Then what we have to do is multiply along these rightward diagonals and add those products together. And then we'll also multiply along these leftward diagonals and then we will subtract their sum from the rightward diagonals. And that looks like this. For the rightward diagonals, we have lambda minus one times lambda minus four times lambda plus one, which you see there. And then to that, we add one times negative one times five. So we add negative five and then add one times negative one times negative one, so add one. And then we subtract the sum of those other diagonals. So we have five times lambda minus four times one, which is just that, and we have negative one times negative one times lambda minus one, which is just lambda minus one. 
and then lambda plus one times negative one times one, which is just negative lambda plus one. Then we just have to be careful about distributing and simplifying. Lambda minus four times lambda plus one is lambda squared minus three lambda minus four, and negative five plus one is minus four. Distributing everything on the right side, then distributing everything in these brackets, we get five lambda minus 20 minus two. We can then combine like terms and simplify, and we arrive at lambda cubed minus four lambda squared minus six lambda plus 22. That's the characteristic polynomial, and we set this equal to zero for the characteristic equation. And so there is our characteristic equation, lambda cubed minus four lambda squared minus six lambda plus 22 equals zero. Remember, the solutions to these characteristic equations are the eigenvalues of the matrix. So that's how to find the characteristic equation of a 2x2 two two and 3x3 three three matrix. For larger matrices, the process is similar, just more difficult. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, and be sure to check out my Linear Algebra course and Linear Algebra Exercises playlists in the description for more. If you find my videos helpful, please consider supporting what I do by joining Wrath of Math as a channel member. You can get early and exclusive access to select videos and extra practice, and if you join at the premium tier or above, you can access the lecture notes used in this series. Thanks for watching. I'm stressed out, sounds like you've been stressed out, tell me what you're stressed about. Mama. Stressed out, honey, I've been stressed out lately, don't know what's what, don't know what I'm stressed about. Stressed out, sweetie, I'm stressed out, sounds like you've been stressed out, tell me what you're stressed about.